Hey guys, and welcome to game number 24 out of 100 of my Human vs. AI series, where I'll be taking on the AI-powered best spot in a 100-game match. We're coming off of a couple good wins, and we are now sitting at a 9-14 record, so only 5 games off of even pace. Hopefully we can get another win today, and this is looking like a good start. We have out, sell, and sell out on our first rack. Waiting for best spot to move, but uh, it would be pretty surprising if our 7s didn't play. At least one of them. So as it often does, Best Spot taking some time on its opening rack. We've seen it rarely play very quickly on its first move, and sometimes when it takes a while it'll bingo, and sometimes it'll just make a pretty small play. So we'll see. But yeah, like I said, out sell and sell out both good on this rack. Possible eights as well, like out yells, toluols, probably some other options as well. So it's just going to depend on what Best Spot does, but hopefully will at the minimum be able to play one of our bingos. Best Spot already taking over a minute. Yeah, I've seen Best Spot take as much as two minutes on its opening play, so I still don't fully understand why it takes so long on its first play. It must just have to do with it being so early in the game and there's many more possibilities for it to iterate through, but it, uh, it really does seem to take an uncannily long time on its opening play, and it settles on Yaw for 10. So... It's probably very close to a bingo, I would have to imagine. Of course, I'll be able to bingo. I could actually play out yells through that Y, but it's not going to score that much. Nothing through an A, so I either hook Yaws. I actually only have Yaws that hooks over there, or I can play something under. Yeah, out sell here actually looks reasonable. 68 points. Doesn't float an E, which is nice. It floats O-U-T. Those aren't the worst tiles to float. I mean, I think it's got to be better than playing here, right? Because I also float... Well, let's see, I float O-U-L, so it's actually kind of similar. This gives me... Or gives back two double-double lines instead of one, though. Also scores fewer points. I think the other one has to be better. And sellout, does that help me? Probably not. No, I don't really see a reason why this would be much better than out sell. So, yeah, I think outsell seems reasonable. Definitely don't want to play sell out with the Oz, as that would put an S hook in the triple lane. So, all right, outsell, here it is. Not a bad draw, to be honest. Not going to be bingoing, but a lot of good scoring tiles there. And especially if I think the bot is going to be bingoing, then hopefully I'll have a good J play, like Hodge or J or something like that next turn. I have some options here, actually, with SH. Like, this This score is 40. Ah, okay. I, it's funny, because I, when I played out cell, I was like, oh, it gives back a Q spot, but, like, he's not going to have the Q. He just played the Ah. Well, sure enough, he drew the Q. So, uh, I mean, I'm sure he didn't keep the Q. That would make no sense. So he must have just drawn it, and that's uh, that can happen sometimes, but I don't think that means uh, I made the wrong play by any means. All right, so... Uh, Hodge here looks good. 38. Yeah, it seems pretty solid. I could actually consider J, because I save this really nice play of Hap for my next turn, which, as we saw, scores 40. That might actually be better than Hodge, just because of the potential for hitting that on my next turn. I could also play Hap, or even maybe, yeah, immediately... I'm not a huge fan of keeping the J, though. I feel like I'd rather get rid of it and then try to score next turn. Yeah, I mean, this leave definitely has potential to turn ugly. So I think it's between Hodge. And, I mean, this might still be fine. Yeah, this leave is still pretty good type. It's just that it doesn't really have any immediate threats on this board. And also, I create a Haji hook I don't have, which is not my favorite thing to do. I generally prefer to not create hooks I don't have if I can help it. I could also, honestly, like, this is not a crazy idea either. 31 points and it keeps hype, which is a really good scoring leave. So that's an option. Yeah, I have a bunch of viable options here, which is a good problem to have. A bunch of reasonable plays. I think I should get rid of the J. I don't think I should play Happer, yeah, immediately. So yeah, I'm kind of between Taj, Hodge, and J. J scores the least, but it's really nice to save Hap for my next turn. And this is a just a fantastic leave in general. I could 
easily draw a bingo with this, especially if the bot opens the board for an 8. So it's it's a point sacrifice, but it really does put myself in great position to do well next turn, which is nice. Yeah, this is a lot to give up, though, 12 points over this. And then, yeah, there's also Taj, as I mentioned, which keeps a nice lead for scoring, but again, I don't really have any... I guess I have this spot still. I could play Yeah or something there. I don't know. This has some potential to get a little too consonant heavy, though, I think. I'm going to go with J. It's definitely non-standard, and it may not be correct, but I really... Also, with this H spot, like, being next to an S as opposed to a vowel, it's much less likely he's going to overlap there and end up using that spot. Like, I would think he's often going to just play from this J, and then I'll get my big play next turn. So, and it's not like a huge point sacrifice, especially over Taj. And this leave is really nice, so I'm going to go ahead and do it. I have a feeling the Static Evaluator is going to hate it, but I think it has a lot of merit. Yeah, I mean, that's a very good draw. I don't know if I'll have a bingo. Certainly I'll have bingos if he opens a, an E. I have three in pre-death. But, like, worst case, if he if it stays open, I'm playing Hap for 40, leaving D-E-R-T. That's pretty nice. I don't have a 9, do I? Uh, don't think so. Cathedral, almost. Huh, okay. So I guess he did block my spot, which I didn't think was very likely. I figured it would just play from the J. That's actually a little bit annoying, because now I don't have any big plays there. Huh. I mean, this is not crazy, is it? The problem is, I guess, where am I really bingoing? Hmm. Yeah, because I don't really have a good place to bingo next turn if I do this. Like, even if I draw an E, I have Tapered, Predate, Adepter. I guess Adepter would play. Yeah, actually, Adepter plays, Adopter plays. I would give me Partied, Pirated, Diptera, which I don't think any of them play now. But it's also like, what else am I going to do? I, I don't want to do this. I have a lead. I'm okay with keeping it tight. There's no good reason to do that. I can also always do it next turn if I feel I need to. I think it's fine to do this. I don't, I don't really want to open it up. And I don't see another way to score this well, or really score anything, without opening it. So, let's do it. Alright, I got an E. So I have Adepter. The plan worked. I'll play either above red or below outsell. And he's not, almost certainly not going to be able to block both. Uh, ooh... Pargade, almost a triple-triple, but not quite. It's 89. Have anything through this R? Departer. Re, uh, is Redepart, is that good? I can't remember for sure if that's good. Huh. Doesn't seem like it is, but either way, I mean, I think this is fine. It's five fewer points, but it blocks that line. I have a lead. Like, even if that is a word, which I feel like it might it might be. I, I honestly can't remember for sure. But like I said, even if it is, I don't think this is a bad play just, just to block that triple-triple line. But there's still two blanks out. I have a lead. So, yeah, let's go ahead and just play Pargate. I'm positive that's a word. Okay, not a great draw, but not bad. Almost vitamin, but not quite. So maybe, well, I was going to maybe play Varmint, but that's no longer possible. So maybe just uh, Vina. Keeps three consonants, but plenty of vowels left. 26 vowels, 27 consonants. Scores all right, gets rid of my V, my duplicate N. Seems... Pretty reasonable. I guess I could also... Maybe I should play Vin, actually. Because, yeah, that's... That's 20. It's 5 less. 
But it keeps the A, which is nice for Zaw plays and just for insurance in case I do have a consonant draw. It also blocks the row two line, which is by far the best bingo line here. So, yeah, I think I kind of like Vin. I could play Madden, but that just gives back easy scoring plays on the one row for seemingly no good reason. So I think I like Vin. Just kind of balance my rack, score a little bit, block. Just kind of wait to see what happens next. So, yeah, let's uh, let's do that. Alright, pull an F. I'm actually close to uh, Dalmatian from this D-A-L. <laughs> if I had an I, actually. I'm only one tile off of that. Ooh, Stotinky comes down from the bot. And I don't believe that takes an S. So, the bot takes a little bit of a lead, but not a massive lead. And what do I want to do? Hmm. I don't think I want to play Flam, especially because that takes an E. That's pretty reckless. And I'm not really down all that much, so it's not like I need to be too aggressive. It's it's not really worth fishing for Dalmatian, like playing off FL. It's I mean, it's like 39 points. It's not like a game-changing play or anything. So, all right. What do I have? I could, I mean, I could always just play something like Final. It's not that exciting. But score's okay. Open some more lines. So it's not bad. I don't think I have much with Za. Alpha? I mean, Final has to be better. It keeps a more balanced to leave. Jam? No, I definitely want to get rid of this F. I think final is fine. I don't really see a way to score more. And like I said, it does balance my rack pretty well, opens some more space. So I think I'll go ahead and play that. Hmm. Not the best of draws here. Probably try to play Imago or Amigo somewhere. Maybe even just Jig. Yeah, just Jig is actually not bad. Scores pretty well. I'm not down a ton. I mean, I probably will need to bingo at some point to win. There's a blank and an S left. So, probably, I mean, there is this Queen's line as well. So, there's certainly plenty of potential still for a big rally by either of us. This game is far from over. Huh. Interesting. Five. Five for 20. What do I want to read into that? Is it trying to set itself up for an R play? Is it just trying to play some defense and get rid of a clunky rack? Not really sure. But I don't have much to do there. I mean, I'm not going to do this, keeping AII, especially if it takes an E for Gemo. So I think I'm just going to probably stick to my plan and play Jig. I'd love to turn over more tiles, though. That's the thing with a blank and an S unseen. Oh, actually, how about Diatom? That's got to be, or Diatom, that's got to be better. Yeah, because it scores more, and turnover is at a premium here. Yeah, that's a much better play, for sure. All right, I'm glad I saw that. Yeah, that's got to be my best play. Ugh. Well, that's not what I wanted to turn over and get. I mean, the X is probably fine, but... Yeah, that's bad. Wow. Draw U-I-W-X. Yikes. Yeah, that's a big problem. I'm going to probably have to play, like, Jug or something, but yeah, this is, this is not good, because now it's going to take me multiple turns to clean this up and try to get to bingo opportunity. Just plays hmm for 28. I'm still down a little bit, but not a ton. But I don't have anywhere to play Wig. I mean, do I have to play, like, Jig or Jug? I hate Jug because it takes an A and I don't have an A. I hate Jig because it keeps the U and the W together. Both of them are terrible. Huh. Yeah, wow. I mean... Do I consider trading here? I don't think so. Like, the problem is... 
Yeah, I need. I really need a blank or an S if I trade. So I guess I could trade seven and go all in and trying to get blank or an S and hit something with queens. I'm just worried about getting out of range. Maybe, how about X, U? I think I like that better than Jig. Like, the X is just not helping me on this board. It doesn't, there aren't any good spots for it. And it's just going to make it harder for me to get back to a state where I'm close to bingoing. So I think this is fine. Scores 23. The leave is atrocious, but at least I still have Jig next turn. If I can get two decent tiles here, then I think this isn't too bad. So yeah, let's let's bide our time a little bit, I think. Let's not be too impatient. I think this is fine. Alright, not great. Not terrible, I guess, all things considered. Yeah, it's, it's definitely not looking particularly promising, especially if the bot has the blank. Ah, okay, so the bot gets down Paragon. Yeah, now this is looking pretty tough. I'm going to absolutely need that S if I want any chance. I'm down... 90? Probably have to just play Jig, and then... I don't even know. It blocks the Queen, so it doesn't really set up Jigs. Jow? No, I don't want to keep two eyes. I think Jig, probably, and then... Hoping to draw the S and then hit something a few turns down the road is probably my best chance? I mean... I don't have anywhere to play Wig or no T for Godwit or something like that. Hmm. Yeah, very tough position to be in. But I just don't really see anything better to do than Jig. I, I mean, yeah, I don't have a good way. I guess maybe probably Wig here, though. I think that just makes it too easy for him to score and block. Like, that's the problem. I'm down 90. If the bot scores 30 even there, I'll just be down 100. And then I don't think I can even really win with a bingo. I need to make sure that if I bingo, I still have a chance to win. So I think I have to play Jig and then try to score again next turn and then bingo the turn after somehow. I think that's what I need to do. I mean, I have Crowdy, but it's, it's not going to play. That's the problem. So I think I'm going to have to try to play something like, well, I can't play Cowd here because of WA. Probably like Dow over here next, and then hope to draw the S and draw some sort of... Wow, trade six. Trade six. Really? Huh. I did not expect that at all. Huh. Trade six. So it probably had like six or seven vowels, is my guess. So I should probably brace myself for drawing a lot of vowels. One thing I was looking at was wine, which sets up the D for Dwine. There are two, uh, there's two T's and an S though. If he just traded six, he's probably reasonably likely to have one of those. I don't think I need to do that. I guess the problem is though, right? Like, here's the thing. If he just traded six, he either kept the S as a 7th tile or probably just drew it. I mean, hmm. There's 13 in the bag, so he would have like a 50-50 shot of drawing it, I guess, if he didn't already have it. Hmm. Yeah, this is a tough turn. See, the thing I like about Dao is it... I mean, I definitely am going to have to draw the S, I think, to win this game either way. And it scores 25, so it definitely puts me in range if I draw the S. And it's super hard if I have the if I get the S and he doesn't have it for him to block jigs. And there's plenty of things I can get if I do draw the S. So I think Dao is reasonable. Yeah, unfortunately Cowd doesn't work for more points. I still don't see myself winning without a bingo. Hex, nah, it just keeps keeps WC. I really can't do that. I don't see any other things I can really try to set myself up for. I, I just, if there weren't two T's, I just don't think wine works enough to be worth it. Yeah, I, I really don't think so. I think Dow, like if I draw the S, like I'm in good enough shape. I think that's the play. Ugh. Yeah, that's not good. <laughs> I got the other C. 
in the U. Yeah, this is that was very bad. I don't know how I'm gonna get rid of this next turn. Oob. Interesting. Well, actually, wow, so it's setting up rogue, really? Why would it do that? I mean, there's nothing else that hooks it. So, okay, well, now... Yeah, I mean, now I just save the R, and I, if I just play, like, Q, I could even... If I can draw, like, the S and get a bingo there, then the bot could maybe have problems. Like, I'm happy to see that. I think that actually gives me some chances, because I have the R. I'm very surprised to see that play. I mean, I'd love to score more than Q does, but I need to get rid of a C. I need to get rid of... I really need to get rid of all three of those tiles. And I just don't have another good way to do that. So, yeah, I think it's kind of forced. I mean, I don't want to score 10 points, obviously, but I'm still... I'm down 54. If I can get an 80-point bingo here, that should be enough to win in many cases. Yeah, I think I have to do it. I mean, I don't know what else I'm going to really try. Ooh, okay. I got the S, so hopefully the bot doesn't empty the bag here. If it doesn't empty the bag, then I can fish and try to get recites. Okay, so, ooh, now I can't get recites, but... Alright, well, if I fish, let's see, do I, do I have three minutes to try to figure this out? I need to draw something with rogue for sure. Uh, I would think... Saracen, Irenix, no, doesn't fit. Well, Saracen will fit here. Irenix will actually fit here, too. So, maybe... Oh, how about... No, this... Sincere. Does this one with an N draw? Like, an N is probably my best thing to go for. Right? Because I don't think I can get a 7 with an A. I obviously have to fish off one tile. There's nothing else to even think about. So I have to fish off one tile. There's nothing with an A. I don't think there's really anything I can get with a B. Describe. No. E, no. I, know. O. No. You, know. Right? Uh, if I fish off an E or an I, do I get anything with a U? I don't. W. No. So, all right. I have to fish for an N, basically. I'm, I'm, I have to try to get myself a 1 and 8. So if I fish off... An I. I draw Sincere and Saracen. But, like, the problem is, I'm worried that the bot can block both down here, perhaps. It might be tough for it to, though. Like, like if I just play an I somewhere... Like, okay, if I do this, if I draw an N, how does the bot, bot block both Sincere over here and Saracen underlapping feet? Seems tough. Maybe like Chow C I A O. No, an increase still fits. Huh. All right. Well, if I do this, then can it just outrun me? I guess because then I'm positive if I draw this, then it can't block everything. So, all right. So that's five. Oh, I don't have much time. So minus sixty one. If I draw the N, if it plays like bow over here. 28, minus 89, uh, plus 8 on this rag. I need 81. Saracen is 81, right? 3, 6, 7, 8, 11, 22, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 9, 83. I won by 2. Does B-O-W, is that his best play there? Probably. Unless he should play... No, Wab isn't as much. So, okay, so A, B, E, I, O, U, W. Owie, no. What else, what does he have other than bow? I mean, I'm just not entirely confident that he doesn't have some way to block everything on the bottom. Like, ice even could be, could be a block. So I think I have to do this. Yeah, I think I have to do this. Give me an N. Ah! <laughs> Alright, I tried. Yeah, I was pretty, I'm pretty sure I would have won by two if I did the math right. Because, yeah, because Bo would have been 28. I'd have been down 89. I was going to get four. So I need 81, and Saracen was 83. C-E-R-A-S-I-N. So I'm pretty sure I would have won by two if I drew the end. 
but I didn't. I mean, I didn't really think I was going to. It was a one and eight, one and eight shot, but I had to try. It was a decent effort. I gave myself a chance this game. I can't really complain. It was it was going to be tough. Uh, he got both blanks, and I kind of got that one S early without sell, and didn't really get much until the end. So it was a good game. I feel like I gave it a pretty good effort, but not meant to be, unfortunately. But yeah, I think I had to play Poi because, like I said, if I think the bot could have just played like Ice and blocked. All of my bingos, because it would have blocked Sincere. Yeah, Icer is not good. And then Saracen wouldn't fit. Yeah, because I, I I think I had to. And if I fished off an E, how if I fished off an E? Irenix and Saracen. Yeah, that still wouldn't help me. And the thing is, none of those start with an R for Robe. So I, I think I, I think that might actually be my only chance. Yeah, alright. Plays Bow. Let me try not to flag. Uh... I don't, I'm not going to have enough time to permute this. Is Unai is it going out? I don't think so. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I'm not even sure here. I'll just do this. <laughs> All right, ration. Uh, oh, don't flag. Oh, I got it off with four tenths of a second to spare. Okay, good game. 460-390. Sure, that wasn't my best end game, but not not too worried about that. Um, yeah, did I, did I do the best I could have early on, though? I'm not sure. It's kind of a strange start to this game. Let's see. Outsell. So, okay, so it kept A, D, E, and R, and it drew the Q. So, that makes sense. Yeah, this turn was odd. I mean, I saw that. I saw, I saw all of these options. Well, this makes no sense. Like, may as well just play Hush here at that point. Yeah, I saw this, and Taj, like I said, my, this is definitely non-standard. I'm giving up a considerable number of points, but I really do like this leave, and I save Hap for next turn, which which did end up getting blocked. But, I mean, this is still a pretty good leave. I just didn't love giving back this I hook, and I liked the H so much more than the Y, so I don't know, maybe this was too big a sacrifice, but it didn't work out too badly. Yeah, I didn't want to play down here, like I said, with, with anything, just because at this score, I mean, it, it, I'm, I am giving up like 20 points. Um, oh, what I should have done is just played it here. I didn't actually consider that. Huh. That's funny. It actually scores more one, one square to the left. So that's just like a careless one-point mistake there for for no reason. But, uh, but yeah, in any case, I, I think playing tight is fine here. Like, I have a little bit of a lead. I have a good chance to draw, like, an E or an O for a bingo. Or A, actually, as well for adapter. So I've got a good chance to hit a 7 next turn. And if the bot opens it up, I'm almost certainly going to have an 8. So I, I think this is fine. I just should have... Put my H one square to the left. That was just a little bit sloppy. Um, all right, good. So read the part is not a word. I was correct about that. I think um, is I think read the port is good. There's something like that that I was getting confused with. I think is I'm checking. Is it uh no not read the port. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what I'm thinking of. But uh, yeah, it's just depart departer is the uh, uh, or departer isn't even good. Oh wait, so there's no eights in that rack. Wow, yeah, no, I was getting totally confused. Departer isn't even a word. So there's no eights. Yeah, I knew reparted wasn't good. Wow, so departer isn't even a word. Okay. Yeah, I don't know why I thought that was a word. And then I thought read the part maybe was also. So there's just no eights in that rack. Well, I'm glad I didn't accidentally play something there. Yeah, so portered, reported, and deporter are all good. But departer, reparted, none of those are good. Okay. So yeah, Pargade, clearly my best play. Zunes, yeah, Vin I think is fine. Didn't really, there's no reason to play Mavin here, right? The M and the A are both good tiles, and you're only getting four points, and you're just giving back easy scoring plays on the one row here for no reason. And the bot gets down to Tinky. Yeah, I mean, I'm definitely not playing Flam here, of course. It's just it's completely reckless. That's a nice play, Adaman, for 30, but I think final is fine. AMT is a much better leave. This opens a little bit for me. Five, wow, what a powerful leave, too. H-A-M blank. Really good for either scoring or bingoing. I'm glad I found this play. It's a lot better than Jig. Not only does it score more points, but it turns over more tiles for the all-important blank and S. So that was a good play. No E for Graphene for the bot. Just plays HM. Looks good to me. Keeps it tight. Maintains a lead with the blank. Yeah, I think I have to play XQ here. I can't keep both the W and the X. This was a really, really painful draw for me at this point in the game. Bunch of E's and bingo tiles and the blank and the S, and I draw like I, U, W, X out of the bag. So that was really rough. But I think XU is fine. Bot gets down Paraga. Jig seems kind of forced. I mean, Jiao keeping two eyes with three more to come seems really bad. And the bot trades six here. Interesting. 
I probably would have done this. I don't know. I mean, you still score 10 points and you block some easy overlaps for me. And there's enough constants. I think, I don't know. It's interesting to me that the bot traded. I guess it wanted all out for turnover for the S. So what did it keep? It kept just the T. Interesting. Keeping only a T. Wow. I guess it was just really wanting that S is like super badly. I, that's the only reason I can think of to trade down to T as opposed to like ET or something. Interesting play by the bot. Yeah, I, I probably would have played Uteri here without... Uh, I mean, I still think it's... Feels more natural, but or well, this is a terrible play. Yeah, I guess it's probably either I or trade. None of these other plays are any good. I mean, AEI. Yeah, I guess there are enough valves that has potential to go south. And it just wants to make sure it has a balanced rack. So I guess that yeah, it's interesting, but it kind of makes sense. Oh, I didn't come up with cow pie. Maybe that's a better play. I don't think I want to play this, but yeah, this is interesting because it turns over more tiles for the S. And it probably forces the bot to address the left. And then if I can draw an S, which gives me... This gives me five shots. Yeah, this is a better play because this only gives me three shots at the S. and doesn't really create another opening. So it's not a terrible play, but also keeping the IE with so many more to come is not ideal as we saw later. So yeah, this is probably a medium-sized mistake at, at the minimum. Cowboy is definitely a better play. Unfortunately, I just didn't generate it as an option. Um, yeah, here, I mean, I saw these plays, right? Like, I, I saw I could play Rice, or I actually saw this too, but this, I mean, this is not enough. I'm not going to be winning without a bingo. Like, it gets me within 30, but I'm keeping IU. There's not enough scoring tiles or spots. I need to bingo to win this game. So this is completely counterproductive. And this, I felt like I had some chances, right? I have Robe. Yeah, I'm still so fascinated. Like, why did the bot play Obe here? Like, why, like, why not just play bot? I mean, it's super Val heavy. Or or just play, if you're that worried about Vals, and play, like, Bone or something. I mean, why why do this and create a hook that you don't have when you have this kind of lead? I guess, are there no possible bingos from the bot's perspective with an R? Is that what's going on here? Are there no sevens that I could have starting with an R? If so, that would be insane with that pull. I'm going to check that. That's wild. If there's no 7s with, with an R. Let's start with an R there. I mean, like, as a human, I would not have the confidence to look through a pool of 17 tiles and deduce that with, with confidence. No, there's there's 7s. There's Raucous, Rescue, Rubasses, and Rubius. There's 7s. So why did it do that? I mean, it doesn't have to do that. Like I said, I mean, you can... Play off, you can play Bone and score six more points and not create an opening there. Like, I I really don't understand. It just seems so unnecessary because, like, even if I don't have it immediately, I could fish for it. Yeah, this just really doesn't make sense to me why it would do that. I mean, yeah, all, the, all these plays don't really make sense. Like, why, I don't know why you wouldn't... And if you don't want to keep, like, maybe do this. If you don't want to keep two Ts, like, just keep keep the B for scoring, maybe. I don't know. I had many plays here. I just, I don't understand this play at all by the bot. I'm not going to lie. Um, like, Best Buy's made a lot of plays I don't understand in, in this series, and that's definitely one of them. It's it's not a play I would ever make. So if anyone has any ideas why the bot did this or why it might be a good play, then, then let me know, because I have no idea. It makes no sense to me. I think Q is the right play by me here, because now I'm like, okay, can you just open that? Like, I don't know what he's doing, but I know I have the last hook for it, and there's some good stuff that I could possibly draw. And then, so what did the bot do here again? It played, wow, it played tit down here. See, I guess now there's no sevens that I can have with Rogue. Now, like, even I could figure that out at this point, I think, with this few tiles in the bag. So why is that better than tub? Are there are there no sevens? Well, no, because I can hit wearies. I guess okay. So probably what's going on is that like so what sevens do I have at this point other than wearies that I can hit? It might not be much. I'm checking. Airwise and wearies are the only sevens. So maybe the idea with tub or with tit as opposed to something like tub that looks more standard is that it went through and figured out that it could respond to those bingos more effectively with this with the B on its rack. That's probably what happened. Like so, okay, 
if yeah, I mean, if it plays Tit, then I can play Weary's under there. And then I guess, oh, because if I play Weary's, that's what it's doing. So if I play Weary's, then it can respond with Bounce. Right, because it'll draw... Because if Weary's is played, then like C-E-I-I -I or something like that would be in the bag, so it's likely to draw Bounce. And would that be enough, though, to, to win for it? Maybe it would be. I guess. I don't know. It must be something like that. It's very complicated to try to figure all of that out, and I don't want to spend too much time trying to go through all the possibilities, because it would take me a while to figure it out, but it must be, right? Because certainly the natural play, if you go in this spot, is to play Tub and that. But, like, why do you... Actually, wait a second, though. Like, why... Why do you have to open a spot? Because right now, if Weary's and Airwise... Yeah, wait a second. Because if Weary's and Airwise are the only sevens, which I just checked they are... They don't play with jigs. So, like, why don't you just play, like, four tiles somewhere else and empty the bag? And then don't you just win? I mean, can you not play four tiles somewhere else? Like, do you not have a four over here? Like, the idea is to empty the bag so that I can't try to open another line somewhere. Like, maybe you can't play four tiles here? Is that possible? T-I, Tino... Huh, no, t no. Yeah, I mean, maybe he can't actually play four tiles at once. But even so, even if you just play three, like, if you just play anything over here, right, within reason, then how do you lose? Like, if you just play bin, I don't know how I can open a line that you're not going to be able to block. Right, even with one in the bag. So the only thing I can hit, once again, is Airwise or Wearies. If... I, I can't fish anything off here that's going to help me. And Well, an eye, I guess I could... I could fish off an eye, but if I fish off an eye, then you just block with Tout or something. It's like, yeah, you leave one in the bag, but what am I going to do to fish? If I, if I play off, like, Fee, then you can just play something with Feet, because Feet doesn't take an S. Like, I don't know how I fish in a way... That gives me a spot that you can't block. I don't think it's possible. So, like, how how do you lose after bin? It doesn't really seem possible. Because you're not losing without me bingoing. There's no chance. You're up 60 points, and the Iraq isn't that bad. I mean, could I play, like, Hexer setting up Wise? No, no way, right? Like, is that ever going to actually win? I don't think so. I really don't think so, because that's also only six tiles. It's not an out and two. And you should still be able to score something. Yeah, I feel like this just seems like... I mean, I don't know. Like Maybe I'm missing something. This happened in an earlier game, too, where I was, I'm very confident the bot misplayed a pre-end game. Like, I just... Like, why Why do you need to open this line? With, I mean, if I play Wearies and it draws, like, C-I-I out of the bag, right then I don't think it can win, because Weary's would be 79. So that would, so 418, 4, I mean, it's down 18. It has Incubi plus an O. Incubi wouldn't play. Like, I don't think it can win. Maybe Konai? 24, 31. So 31 minus 10, 21. I would need 4 to tie. I guess? No, 8 to tie. With an E. So maybe it's just... Is it possible it just always wins after this when I bingo there? Is that actually possible? Maybe, somehow. Maybe it's possible then that if... So, okay, so if, yeah, if I play Wearies once again, that's 79. So that puts me at 431. He's at 418. Konai is 31. 449. So yeah, I would need... Well, I would tie with Rhett then. If my math is right. Yeah, I think that would tie. So, yeah, why, why do this? It, I don't know. It just seems like it really overcomplicates things so much. Like you just, There's no reason to open up this line to me. I don't know. I mean, it, it just really doesn't seem like a good play. But in any case, that's what it did. And, of course, the bot already had the end. But I think I made the right call here playing Poi. Because, like I said... 
Um, it should win by two points if I draw the end, because I'm threatening Sincere on the left and Saracen on the bottom. It can't block both, and I believe Bow uh, would be its best play, and that would have won by two for me. So I think I made a good play here. Of course, I didn't get the end, and uh, yeah, I'm not going to worry too much about this end game. I was out of time. Um, this would have been the one point. Okay, so yeah, interesting game. A couple mistakes for me. Uh, I mean, SH instead of Thigh was just a careless one-point mistake. And yeah, J was definitely questionable. A few other plays that I'm not sure were best, but overall I didn't play too badly. I don't think Dow instead of Kalpai was probably my biggest mistake of the game. That would have given me a better chance, I have to imagine. But yeah, it was an interesting game. I'm, I'm still very confused about the bot's choice in that pre-end game. Like, I feel like there's got to be some situations there where after Tit, if I play Wearies or Airwise, I think it probably could lose here and there, and I just don't see how it ever loses if it just plays something like Bin on the top right, as I was saying before. But maybe I'm missing something. I, I don't know. But in any case, it was a good game. Uh, disappointed I, I couldn't uh, make it happen, but uh, so be it. Our, uh, so our record now in the, uh, the series is, I believe, 9 wins and 15 losses through 24 games. So Still uh, still trailing by six, but there's plenty of time left, and hopefully we can get a win in game number 25. So I look forward to seeing you all there. Thanks, as always, for the support and for watching the video. See you soon. Bye-bye.